okay guys this is my prediction for the chelsea starting 11 um for firstly the goalkeeper we all know mendy has been having lapses this season but um i think he's still the best goalkeeper we have and he's been he made some saves at the last match so i also take edward mendy at goal then the center back center back the right center back i won't want with james to play there because i feel like we are limiting his potentials when he plays there because when he goes to the attack may please wing back and he has the license to move forward uh, attack flourishes more so i not want i don't think james will be added there yeah because when sp came at the leicester match we saw the difference so i try center back i'll go for um trevor shaloba shaloba i think is a talent and you can't we can't just put in for fun a day because for fun i just finished his medical and he hasn't started training so let me see maybe from our next match after our next match i think against west ham yeah for fun i will be, be starting right up there um and let me do we all know who is there. Yeah, it's a center back. We all know who is there. Um, Thiago Silva. Isn't like fine wine, man. <laughs> and uh, the left center back, Kalidu Kolibali, will be there because his suspension, he has served the suspension and he's fit to play. So, Kalidu Kolibali all day. At swing back, right swing back, I think we all know he's just our play our boss <laughs> um uh, i think it's uh rich james rich james plays there then left swing back kukurela has made that position this one i think i think then she will have to fight for his place and it's a good thing to think about but i think i think um Marco Corella still gets it. Then for the double pivot, the midfield at the center midfield. I think Jorginho brings stability to the team. He controls the game. He makes some silly mistakes, but I think Jorginho still deserves to play. So Jorginho will be there. Then who will play with him? Who will pair with Jorginho? Because Triple said Kovacic um, can't play. 90 minutes of football but i think he'll stick him in there because we need we need stability there too we need stability we need someone who can take the ball move forward and come back and help george you know make some tackles and all that so i'll still out sticking kovacic matthew kovacic there and uh players up top we all know um i'll let me say uh I'm Sterling. I'm Sterling. We stuck up there because I think yeah, he was fan he was fantastic against Leicester. His two goals. Wow. I know you he makes some silly mistakes and all that, but I think he's there. Yeah, he's there with us. So I think Sterling has made a name there. You that position is his now. Uh, and here this is last place. Um, Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz. I won't want Kayavas playing up top because he doesn't have the goals and assists to be there. I want someone who is a natural finisher to play up top. So I will play Kayavat as a second striker. So Kayavat will be here instead of Mason Mount. Mason Mount has not been impressive lately, so I will leave him out of the squad. And um Next up top, Amando Broya. Yeah, I think this is the best lineup for against uh, Southampton. We need to be strong and we need the three points. Get me, we need the three points because we are down in the table and the Premier League challenge is very tough this season. So I think this is the best lineup.